I used to work at this factory or warehouse where we had these 20 foot pieces of steel. I mean, they were 20 feet long. And, you know, the guys that worked there, you know, a bunch of tough guys. Most of them were temp workers. Um, you had to be tough to work there. You couldn't sit down. You had to keep pulling the orders and loading the pieces of steel. And it was two guys per piece, right? Because it's a 20 foot piece of steel. So, you know, one guy grabs one end, the other guy grabs the other, and you load up the orders. It was a tough job. I remember coming home from work late at night. It was a afternoon shift job. And my face was black from, from the steel. I remember one day, I was in the break room. I must have been like, I don't know, 18, 19 years old. And there was this guy, he was Hispanic, I remember. Taller than me, you know, good looking guy. It was him and his friend. And the Hispanic guy looked at me and he asked me how old I was. And I think I said, oh, I'm 18, I'm 18, man. And he goes, how, how old are you? And he says, Oh, I'm 27. And he looked at me and he said, you have your whole life in front of you, man. And that's what this video is about. You know, this, this isn't it. This is not it. You are not done. You are just getting started, my friends. And it doesn't matter if you're 18, if you're 25, if you're 45, or if you're 65. Because as long as you're alive, there's hope. And you have the present. You have the now. And you can still change your life. You can still do it because you have time. You're alive. Just getting started. Just getting started. And that, that's, it's, you know, it's funny because... It was such, such a simple comment. I don't even know who this guy was, but it just left such an impact on me. And so I just wanted to share that with you because I think a lot of people, they think it's too late. They think that their time is up. They think that their time is gone. They, they dwell on the past. You know, I know people who are always talking about the past. They're always dwelling on the past. Oh, I should have done this or, oh, I should have done that. Well, what are you doing right now? Right? That's what I want to know. There's this guy. I, I talk about him sometimes now because I feel like a lot of my content is kind of similar to his. I, his name is David Goggins. And he always says, you know, what, what are you doing right now? That's what I want to know. Right? What are you doing today that's going to change your life? What, what steps are you doing? What are you going to do when you stop watching this video? This isn't it. It's not over. Just getting started. Just getting started. You know, when I started college, despite that comment from that guy when I worked at that steel warehouse. I was 24 and I felt like the old guy. I remember sitting in my college algebra class in the back because I was nervous, I was shy. I was too scared to raise my hand. And there was this kid with glasses, this nerdy looking kid with pimples and glasses. Very stereotypical and he was 16 years old and he was in college algebra and he had one of those calculators, the TI-84 calculator. And I had never seen one and I didn't know how to use it. And I felt like I was just behind, you know, here's this kid, he's eight years younger than I am and he's doing better than me in the class. I just felt like the old guy. Looking back, I wasn't the old guy. There was older people in class and even if I was, who cares? You can't care. 
You can't care. It's never too late. So think about that. Think about what you want to do with your life. You know, a really good, a really good motivator is not to ask yourself where you want to be in five years. People always say that. Where do you want to be in five years? No, that, that's, no, that's, that's, that thinking is okay, but that thinking puts limits on you. I don't believe in limits. Instead of asking yourself, where do you want to be in five years? Ask yourself this, if I'm in the same place five years from now, am I gonna be really happy? Am I gonna have regrets? Think about that. Many times people will say yes, and, and that's great. That's great, but I think it's rare. For most people, when you, when you look at yourself and you say, if my life is exactly the same in five years, am I gonna have regrets? Are you gonna have regrets? You know, they say when people get older, when they're nearing death, the end of their life, they ask them, you know, what are, what are some things that you wish you would have done differently in your life? And the answer is never, Oh, well, I tried to do this and I failed. No, no, it's always things that they didn't try. Things that they didn't try to accomplish. Those are the things that people regret near the end of life. And this is why I always believe it's better to try and fail than never try. And I, and I talk about this all the time, but, you know, it, there's a difference, right? If you never try, it's worse than trying and failing because then you'll never know. Here's a really silly example. I remember driving home on the highway on a hot sunny day from my college algebra final exam thinking, I failed, I, I bombed it. And then I remember telling myself, well, I did the best I could and I did. I did the best I could. I, I gave it 100%. I couldn't understand logarithms. For those of you that know math and follow my math content, I didn't, I couldn't, I couldn't comprehend the mathematics. I studied, I did my best and I failed. And so I have no regrets. You know, you have to try to live your life in a way that you're not gonna look back and have regrets. Because the reality is, as long as you're healthy, as long as nothing terrible happens, five years from this moment is going to come. And you don't want to look back and say, oh, I should have done that. Oh. Live your life with no regrets. This isn't it, my friends. This isn't it. This isn't it. Keep pushing forward. Don't be afraid. Believe you can do it. People oftentimes turn around here. They don't take action because they're afraid or you know, there's many reasons. But yeah, it's for another video. I just wanted to make this because a lot of the emails I get here on the channel, you know, they're from people who they feel like it's too late. And a lot of times the emails, and this is not bad, I'm not, I'm not criticizing, it's normal, but people will often talk about their struggles and that's okay. You know, it's good to talk about your struggles. It's good to learn from the past. Focus on the present. Focus on what you have today, you know? Take action. There's a hummingbird. Take action. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say, my friends. Stay strong.